Today we're going to be showing you some of the weirdest animals you've ever seen. Here are some new critters to keep watch for, so stick around and let's get to know more about some of the newest animal discoveries. Number 10. The Cereal Leaf Beetle As its name suggests, this beetle dwells among cereal plants and are often spotted on the outside of crop fields looking for food to eat. Adult cereal leaf beetles are about 5 millimeters long and have metallic bluish-black heads and wing covers. Their thorax and legs are orange to reddish-brown, larvae are yellowish-orange, but this color is usually obscured by a layer of feces and mucus. Yeah, you heard me right there. This pest is covered with its own crap and snot, which is a defense it employs to deter predators from eating it. Pretty good defense in my opinion. Also called the Olima melanopus, this bug is native to Europe and Asia, but it's also become a much more common sighting in the world around. Even though it's common though, the cereal leaf beetle isn't a much-awaited visitor and is considered a pest in most cereal fields. This pest has been known to catch small grain growers off guard because it tends not to be a perennial problem. However, it can also be extremely damaging if populations build and infestations are not detected early. Number 9. Popa Lengur a new primate species, the Popa Langur, was identified in a lab using samples of tissues from museum specimens, captive species, and fecal samples from wild animals collected in the forests of Myanmar. The Popa Langur has a dark brown or gray brown back, a white belly, and black hands and feet. It has distinctive white rings around the eyes as well as the muzzle. While it is newly discovered, these primates have actually existed for a thousand years and have just been hiding in plain sight. They just kind of were camouflaged by their other primate neighbors. May have been a good run for a few years, but hunting pressure as well as habitat destruction and fragmentation have caused their numbers to have dwindled dramatically, which is definitely saying something given just how recently they've been discovered. The Popa Langurs were likely once widespread across central Myanmar, but as of recent are already under threat. It's estimated that there's only about 200 to 260 individuals spread across four separate populations left, making the species fall as endangered creatures. Number 8. The Joker Spider Joaquin Phoenix's portrayal of the Joker has certainly left quite an impression, even in the scientific community. Case in point is this spider, also known as the Joker Spider. Phoenixia is a newly discovered species of spider with an abdomen covered in striking red and white splotches. The striking pattern reminded researchers of Batman Comics' villain, the Joker's iconic face paint. So they named it after the actor Joaquin Phoenix, who starred in 2019's Joker. This spider is a kind of velvet spider that was recently discovered in Iran, though velvet spiders are typically found in Eurasia and parts of Africa, funnily enough. These creatures may look stunning, but do have a horrific start in life when they're born. Scientists found that female velvet spiders biologically prepare themselves to be eaten by their young because their abdominal tissue degenerates to make them more palatable. Even before the spiderlings hatch, the female's abdominal tissues break down to make her easier for the young spiders to eat. This process is known as matrophagy, and uh, mom of the year, I guess? Number 7. Wakanda Fish Discovered around 2019, the Wakanda fish was found in the African Ocean around the Twilight Reefs, reefs where light is scarce. Named after the fictional country in the MCU, this tiny, reclusive, and colorful fish is found deep in the Indian Ocean, off the coast of Zanzibar, Tanzania. Its deep purple scales set in a chain-link pattern reminded scientists of the high-tech suit worn by the superhero Black Panther, hence its name adaptation. The fish belongs to a family of fairy races that are known to have colorful bodies. The Wakanda fish is like other fairy races in that it's tiny, feasts on floating bits of plankton, and seeks refuge in coral reefs. It resides at depths of roughly between 160 and 260 feet, making it a challenge to observe for casual divers. Little is actually known about these elusive fish, but scientists have been constantly trying to complete the study on their nature and habitation. Number 6. Jackie's Day Gecko Jackie's Day Gecko is elusive as well as agile, so much so that its discoverer is named it after the one and only Jackie Chan in reference to the latter's mind-blowing stunt work and peerless kung fu skills. The researchers found that geckos of the genus Synapsis are among some of the most ancient reptiles known from the Western Ghats, with their origin dating back to over 60 million years ago. The study confirms that these geckos originated even before the Indian plate collided with Asia and diversified across distinct biogeographic barriers in the Western Ghats mountains. Scientists have tried to capture Synapsis jackai in hopes of learning more about it, but wherever they did, Jackie, as it's lovingly called, would spring into action by bouncing on one rock to another. It may be similar to other Gecko Brothers in form, but best believe that this Gecko is faster than it seems. Number 5. The Salazar Pit Viper 
A new cream pit viper species was found in the Himalayas and named Trimerceris salazar, or the Salazar's pit viper after Salazar Slytherin, a character from J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter series. In the Harry Potter novels, Salazar Slytherin is described as a parcel mouth or one who can speak parcel tongue, the language of the snakes. He was the founder of the House of Slytherin, which is associated with the color green. Talk about rivaling pop culture adaptations, this snake took it to an entirely new level. This snake, which is nocturnal and has a unique reddish to orange stripe present on the head and body of males, was discovered during an expedition. This expedition took place in India during the summer of 2019. The Salazar's pit viper was found in the northeasternmost state of India, Arunachal Pradesh, which has been home to many discoveries of plants and animals in recent decades. Pit vipers are named for their heat-sensing pit organ, located between the nostril and the eyes on both sides of the head. The pit organ is what allows them to sense the infrared thermal radiation emitted by their prey in the dark. Aside from being able to see in the dark, though, these snakes are also known for their venomous bite, making them ones to stay away from. Number 4. Tapanuli Orangutan Although the orangutan have been discovered in 1939, we believe it deserves its spot on this list, and for good reason. The animal was actually rediscovered in 1997, but wasn't known as the Tapanuli species before. It was given its distinct name as a whole kind of species following a detailed study in 2017. Tapanuli orangutans resemble Sumatran orangutans more than Bornean orangutans in body build and fur color. However, they actually have frizzier hair, smaller heads, and flatter and whiter faces. Dominant male Tapanuli orangutans have prominent mustaches and large flat cheek pads known as phalanges covered in downy hair. Both male and female Tapanuli orangutans have beards, but with Bornean orangutans, only the males do. As with the other two orangutan species, males are larger than females, males are 54 inches in height and weigh 150 to 200 pounds, but females go to 43 inches in height and are 88 to 110 pounds in weight. Tapanuli orangutans live in tropical and subtropical moist broadleaf forests located south of Lake Toba in Sumatra. These apes are listed as critically endangered by the International Union for Conservation of Nature because of hunting conflicts with humans and illegal wildlife trade. Researchers are still trying to fight to conserve the remainder of these animals. Number 3. Macarana Mudaga Frog This frog is pretty special. When it was first discovered in 2019, it was the first new addition to the genus Wakarena in more than a century. There are three previously known Wakarena species. The first other species is the Leptodactylia, the Diplostica, and the Phrenoderma. The newly discovered Muduga leaving frog, Wakarena Muduga, is now the fourth member of the genus, and I'm pretty sure I butchered most of those names. Wakarena Muduga is a species that likes to stay in high elevations. It was found in the Ivo Malai Hill Range of the Western Ghats at an altitude of about 5,065 feet above sea level. It's a medium sized frog with its head longer than its wide. Its nostrils are located midway between the eyes and the snout, and its upper arm is shorter than the forearm, with its hands being longer than its four limbs. It's quite a sight to see out in the wild, but because of deforestation, it's going to be quite a feat to even catch a glimpse of it. Here's hoping that this guy doesn't get extinct for a few years after discovery. Number 2. Black Baird's Beaked Whale Yeah, the name definitely doesn't roll off the tongue, but let's admit it, it's actually fun to say out loud, given that it sounds like Blackbeard the Pirate. In Japan, this whale is called Kurotsuch Kujira. The Kuratsuch Kujira, first described in 2019, is smaller than other whales in the genus and lives in the North Pacific. Much like its brothers, Black Baird is part of the bottlenose family. There are three known beaked whales. The Black Baird species is the runt of the litter, being noticeably smaller than compared to the other two. It measures about 25 feet long, while its brothers measure twice as long. Not much is still known about the Black Baird whale for the time being, as the female whales are a rarer sight than their male counterparts. We're sure researchers are on the move to get to know these creatures better, so let's just wait and see what this Pirate of the Seas has to offer. Number 1. Six Gill Saw Sharks Naming new animals discoveries doesn't have to be really that hard. Just look at the animal and write down what you see, which is probably what happened when someone first saw the Six Gill Saw Shark. Yes, they have long saw-like noses, and yes, they indeed have six gills instead of the usual five like most other sharks. This shark was discovered in 2019 in the West Indian Ocean by an international team of marine scientists. Pilotrema Kajé and Pilotrema Ané, affectionately known as Kajas and Ana, six-gill saw shark, were discovered during research investigating small-scale fisheries operating off the coast of Madagascar. 
Saw sharks can reach up to approximately 5 feet in length and have a long snout, which is edged with sharp teeth that alternate in size. They also have a distinctive pair of barbels in the middle of their snout, and these are whisker-like sensory organs around the shark's mouth that help the shark detect its prey. Using their sensitive barbels and electric scents, six-gill saw sharks can find their prey and then incapacitate them with their pointed end. Their known diet includes small fish, crustaceans, and squids. These animals are believed to be oviviparous, which means that they give birth through eggs, but have the eggs develop inside their bodies instead of having them birthed externally. The only observed predator of the six-gill saw shark is the tiger shark, though it's likely other large sharks predate this species given that it's not the largest shark of the family. It lives around the benthic zone of the ocean, so it resides closer to the floor than most sharks, which is probably the reason why they've stayed hidden for so long. See you all next time!